Yes, guys, welcome back to Channel 77 with Pamba and all the way we get you the best of the best interviews. Guys, niko hapa na stories at 254, niko na Bob Shakwila show. We have a press and uh, you can see behind us or like just beside us we have a group. What I introduce, what to be majorly why we are here. Yes, you can do the intro. My name is Mudiora Carriera and I'm here with members of the Great Nationhood, a national social movement, Kando Yangu, Nina Kefa Umori, Najeshi Lawazalendo, Kama Mnaviona Nyuma Yangu, Tukwapa, Kwa Sababu, Ivi Karibuni, Tumembiwa Kenya, Ita Rudi, Komandamanu. The bipartisan talks are not happening like we had hoped they would. So we are here to give our statement on the state of the nation. Yes. Thanks for having us. Yes. Yes, you can majorly just do a brief of the major reason why you guys are called a press or why we are here. Tumeona kwamba maandamano yana athari mbaya. Kwa mfano tangu maandamano yaitwe uchumi wa Kenya katika hizo siku ambazo maandamano yalifanywa ulilemazwa. Mali zikaharibiwa, watu wakaumizwa watu wa kafa na kimataifa Kenya limeonekana kama sio taifa ambalo liko serious wamesema kwamba mazungumzo ambayo yalikuwa yafanyike ili maridhiano yapatikane sasa yako kwenye njia panda azimio wametaja kwamba watarejelea tena maandamano sisi tunaomba mazungumzo yapewe fursa yapewe kipaumbele na ikiwa haitawezekana hawa wababe wawili kuelewana kama lazima maandamano yafanywe baba Raila Odinga tafadhali usilete maandamano kwenye mitaaduni usiende madhare usiende kibra usiende kawangware usiende mukuru usiende kondele usiende nyalenda yani huku kote ambako umekuwa unaenda tumeona athari ya maandamano Zaidi ya hapo ambavyo umeitisha Jumatatu na Alhamisi. Hmm. Sisi tunaomba ukiitisha maandamano twalike kwako. Tutakuja Karen. Tutakuja ili tukupe picha kamili ndo utueleze. Tutaishi vipi ikiwa tutafanya kazi siku mbili tu ndani ya wiki. Tutalipaje nyumba? Tutalipia watoto wetu karo vipi? Tutahudumia vipi wagonjwa wetu? tuambie tutaishije na haya mapigo ambayo polisi wakati wa maandamano wanatoa kwa wananchi itia gasa ambayo tunakula kila siku ya maandamano ikiwa utaturidhisha sawa tunaweza tukawa na haya maandamano lakini kwanza wewe na rais Ruto ketini chini muongee nyinyi mmekuwa ni ndugu mmekuwa ni marafiki mmefanya kazi pamoja let the talks yield a way forward for this country. So in short, we we have won any advantages of the mandamano? Kwa sasa, athari ya mandamano imekuwa ni kuvuruga shugli za kawaida za wananchi. Tumeonja na tumeona. Heri shari nusu kuliko shari kamili. Kwa hiyo, mazungumzo tumeonyesho kumba ya naweza ya kafanyika. Azimio wa michukua msimamo mkali. Serikali ya Kenya kwanza imeleta madharau kwamba kwenye lile jopo waliteua mtu ambaye anapaswa kuwa yuko upande wa azimio aliasi lakini haja jiuzulu kutoka kwenye chama cha jubilii ambacho ni mshirika kwenye upande wa azimio kwa hiyo if these talks are to happen in good faith the president must pull back Adan Kainan and appoint someone that's going to push this process forward rather than from the very beginning stonewall like we've seen them do na mwenzako anaweza tuambia yeye ana support maandamano ama anataka pia yeye mazungumzo nashukuru tena kwa sababu ya nafasi ningependa kusema kwamba uh, vile mwenzangu amesema sisi ni wa Kenya wa chini mm -hmm. na tukiwa wa Kenya wa chini already tumeumia na nja. Mm -hmm. Na tutaki kuzidi na kuumia na tear gas kwa sababu mm -hmm. kikula tear gas hauwezi shiba. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo ninaomba vile mwenzangu amesema 
Raila Odinga na kikundi chake mm. waweze kupatia masungumzo nafasi. Mm. Kama itawezekana vile eh, wenzetu wamesema hapa na pale vijana wanalia wanasema kama itawezekana kupanuliwa mm. na lile chopo mbalo limeteuliwa kuenda kusungumza mambo haya mm. ni vyema liweze kupanuliwa tuweze kupata masungumzo kuliko mm. kurudi kwa maandamano mm. kuumiza wa Kenya watu wanaumia wana kazi tena mnawarudisha chini wana pesa ya kula una chakula unga iko juu mm. serikali inazidi na kutuchezea hapa share kidogo kidogo kwamba unga imerudi chini mm. leo nimeenda mimi nikapata iko juu mm. ile walisema 160 saini 230 <laughs> kwa hivyo hiyo mchezo si mzuri kwa si. Kenya sisi ni wa Kenya na Kenya ni yetu na sisi ni wazalendo kwa hivyo mimi mm. sioni kama maandamano ni sulisho kwa sasa mm. kwa sababu Kenya iko katika hali mbaya na tunahitaji uchumi wetu kuwe Hmm. Wapeane masungumzo na fasi, watu waonge, ikiwa ni mbaya zaidi, wakenya watamua nini watafanya. Hmm. Na basi kama ayo mazungumzo ayaezi, kwa sababu watu wanasema, mandamano ni mefanya tufike yopo intenye kuna mazungumzo, na kama ayo mazungumzo basi ya kutakuwa na uwele wano. Uh, tena vile nimesema, tumeonja mandamano. Hata we mali huko saa hii, kungekuwa na mandamano ungekuwa town leo. Sini kweli. Kwa hivyo, Ikiwa ni mbaya zaidi masungumza yata weza kusuluisha, then sisi wa Kenya tuko na uwezo kikatiba, mm. tuweze kuchukua nafasi yetu kama wa Kenya, tuamue. Mm. Kama serikali ya itaangalia haya maneno katika njia ambayo na istahiri kusaidia wa Kenya, wa Kenya tuko na uhuru na tuko na uwezo kwa katiba kuchukua nafasi yetu. Mm. Mm. Um, Mdhiri ya naona umebeba karatasi nye upe. Iko, no. yeah, iko na chochote chenye unataka kuambia wa Kenya nyuneza wasomea ama karatasi ilikuwa ya nini haswa? Hii ni press statement ambayo tumepeana. Mm -hmm. Na neza ni kanuku jambo moja ambalo mm -hmm. mwenzangu wa mesema. Mm -hmm. First, mm -hmm. we are disappointed that even though we gave unto ourselves a people's constitution in 2010, mm -hmm. the Kenyan people are still beholden to the political leaders mm -hmm as the subjects were back then during the colonial days to their colonial lords. Mm -hmm. The power vests with the people. Wa Kenya, wajue ni jukumulau kwa kikisha taifa la Kenya. Liko imara, lina amani. Tumejitolea kuzungumza na awa viongozi. Kuwapa picha kamili ya tunaumia kiasigani wakati wao wanazozana na kuleta mizozo yao kwa wananchi wa kawaida. Hmm. Kwa hiyo ombi letu hapa tumesema kwa Kiingereza hmm. ni kwamba restructure and expand the proposed bipartisan parliamentary talks to make it an inclusive, independent and citizen-led dialogue process to discuss the immediate electoral issues and cost of living crisis and address a wider discussion on mid-term issues to get the country back on track. Mm -hmm. Develop a framework with principles, values, timelines and enforceability mechanisms for the dialogues to protect it from political capture mm -hmm. and deal-making to ensure it addresses Kenyans' interests mm -hmm. as previously envisioned. Mm -hmm. Sisi tunamini kwamba mazungumzo yanaweza yakaishia kwenye maridhiano. Mm -hmm. Tumeona dalili kwamba hii mirengo miwili inaweza ikaketi chini na ikaelewana. Mm -hmm. Tunasisitiza. Mm -hmm. Ikiwa itabidi tutembee twende Karen, mm -hmm. tunywe chai na baba, mm -hmm. tumpe picha kamili. Mm -hmm akikubali tumchukue tupitie kwa gashagwa mm -hmm. manake yeye tumeona na msimamo mgumu mm -hmm. tutafute mudavadi tunajua hata wetangu la anaishi Karen mm -hmm. Tut tuje nao all the way mpaka state house mm -hmm. tuwakalishe chini na rais William Ruto mm -hmm. wazungumze mm -hmm. mpaka wapatane mm -hmm. parliamentary talks pekee hazitoshi kututoa kwenye hii crisis ambayo tuko nayo mm -hmm. We need an extra parliamentary process. Na haipaswi ya chiwe tu imirengo miwili. Running a nation mm -hmm. is too important to be left to two top protagonists. Mimi na wewe, mm -hmm. wanjiko, mm -hmm. yule mtu wa boda boda, mama mboga, mm -hmm. sisi wote, mm -hmm. ambao tunajivunia kuwa wa Kenya, mm -hmm. ni wenye nchi. Inchi ni yetu, sauti yetu isikike tafadhali. Muda umefika tuache kutumiwa kama canon fodder. Raila Odinga sasa hivi ana nguvu manake ana wananchi wamesimama nyuma yake.
kabisa. Sisi kama wananchi ambao wanaunga mkono hoja anayoipigania. Mm. Tunaomba aelewe kwamba tunateseka wakati anaitisha maandamano mm. mara mbili kwa wiki nayo na maandamano yanakosa kuzaa mm. tunacho kipigania. Pengine muda umefika tubadili mbinu. Mm. Kama ni maandamano sasa tufanye ambayo hayata muumiza mtu yeyote mm -hmm. au kumzuia kufanya biashara yake. Mm -hmm. Na yazae yale matunda ambayo wa Kenya walilenga ule wakati tulijipa hii katiba mpya. Naam. Sasa mheshimiwa. Naam. Umesema Usinite mheshimiwa. Mimi ni kijana mwenzako. Ni kijana mwenzako lakini bado wewe ni mheshimiwa. Sasa ni na swali, umesema atuitaji maandamano kama yale ya Raila Molo Odinga. Ila mbona kabla by partisan talks hazijafanyika, unga umeshuka na hakuna kitu chochote ambacho kimefanyika mpaka sasa. Ni maandamano tu na unga umeshuka. Sasa I, I thought serikali nifai shukishe day after the talk. Kumanisha kuna kitu ambacho lazima wafanyiwe ni washukishe day. Ukweli ni kwamba huo unga wa bei raisi bado hujamfikia mwananchi pale kwenye lile duka ambalo yeye hununua kila kitu. Hii bado ni marketing gimmick. Na katika yale maduka ambayo yanauza huu unga kwa bei nafuu, huo unga hivi karibuni utapotea ambavyo ule unga wa shilingi moja kabla uchaguzi ulipotea. Kwa hiyo hichi si kitu ambacho ni cha kutegemewa. Ndiyo kushinikiza serikali kupitia kwa maandamano ni njia mojawapo ambayo inaweza ikatupa yale matunda ambayo tunahitaji kuvuna lakini sio njia pekee tumeona athari ya maandamano kuwa inavuruga maisha ya mwananchi wa kawaida kuliko ile faida ambayo inatujia kwa sasa mm -hmm. na tunaamini kwamba mazungumzo yanawezekana mm -hmm. kwa hiyo kabla turudi tena kufanya maandamano tushinikize viongozi wetu wakae waridhiane maana hilo ni jambo ambalo linawezekana Raila Amolo Odinga na William Samoei Ruto ni ndugu ni rafiki mmewaona kwenye vyombo vya habari wakiitana my brother my big brother mbona walete uhasa makati ya raia na dola za serikali unakumbuka juzi wakati gari la polisi limechomwa kawangwari ile picha ilikuwa ya kuogofia kuona askari anakimbia akiwa ameshikilia bunduki na kupanda ukuka, ukuta kuokoa maisha yake hiyo ina effect kwamba mwananchi pale chini anapoteza imani kwa serikali kitu ambacho wakipasi kufanyika tumesema ma, maandamano yamesababisha kupotea kwa uhai unakumbuka kuna askari kule Kisumu ambaye aliuawa anaitwa Copro Ben Oduor. Unakumbuka yule mwanafunzi wa Maseno University. Kuna yule kijana mwingine wa miaka 19 ambaye alikufa Kenyatta National Hospital baada ya kuumia katika maandamano. Tunasema shinikizo ni muhimu kwa serikali, lakini maandamano sio njia ya pekee. Kwa sasa tuna fursa ya maridhiano. May it be given a chance. Lazima kuwe na maandamano ama bipartisan talk kwa sababu bei imeshuka bila ya bipartisan na pia maandamano ya kiwa kumanisha bei inaweza tushuka bila hata maandamano wenyewe wanaweza strategize bila hata that bipartisan talk kwa sababu rais ameshuka amesema ametangaza kushuka kwa bei ya unga na bila bipartisan talk na maandamano ya kiwa kiwa ameshafanyika inamaanisha hayahitaji anaweza tushukisha na anaweza tekeleza ile ambayo maambiwa bila ya bipartisan talk kwa maswala ya kushusha gharama ya maisha maandamano yalikuwa muhimu manake hii serikali tangu wakati imetoa hatamu za uongozi ilitoa ruzuku ambayo ilikuwa inalenga kupunguza makali kwa mwananchi wa kawaida kwa hiyo shinikizo ni muhimu na ikiwa maandamano ndo yataleta serikali kusikiza na kutimiza ahadi ile walitoa kwa hasla kwa mama mboga kwa mtu wa bodaboda boda. basi maandamano ni option lakini sio option ya kwanza mazungumzo yafanyike rais awe mkweli atimize ahadi alizotoa hilo ndo sisi hapa kama the great nationhood tunaomba alafu unaweza mwambia nini Eric Mundi kwa sababu pia naona pia Eric Mundi anafanyanga maandamano 
Eric Omondi ni ndugu yangu ambaye namheshimu sana kwa kazi yake ambayo amefanya. Amekuwa anapigania jamii. Nitamuomba asisite azidi kutumia mbinu anazotumia maana yake ujumbe unawafikia wale ambao wanahitaji kupata huu ujumbe. Kwa wengine wanaweza kosa kuelewa na tukifanya Eric Omondi. Mm. Lakini kwangu mimi Eric Omondi ni bingwa ambaye anapaswa kupongezwa mm. na kuungwa mkono. Mm. Alafu pia juzi tulifanya press flani uh, ya sijui anaitwa Gaucho anajiita Ghetto President. Sijui kama unamfahamu. Juzi hapo akatuambia alikuwa na address uh, President Ruto akimwambia hatutaki ile sava ya Millicent Omanga tunataka atufungulie ile sava ya Raila. Nyinyi kama kikundi kikiongozwa na wewe mdhiora najua mmeamini ya kwamba mazungumzo yatasaidia. Kuna venye pia mnajua ama mnafaitia sava ifunguliwe ama ni haki tu ya wananchi na economy state irudi sawa. Ujumbe na uelekeza kwa Raila Molo Odinga mm -hmm. kwamba sava kufunguliwa mm -hmm. itatoa ukweli ambao kila mkenya anapaswa kujua mm -hmm. na Raila Odinga mm -hmm. anajua kwamba alichokifanya William Ruto mm -hmm. wakati kitafichuliwa hata mm -hmm. yeye mwenyewe alichokifanya mm -hmm. kitafichuliwa mm -hmm tutakuwa tunajianika hmm. lakini itatoa fursa kwa taifa zima hmm. kuanza kupona kutokana na ile dhulma ilifanyika katika uchaguzi wa hmm. 2022 hmm. kati ya hawa wote wawili hmm. hamna msafi hmm. nimesema hapo awali kwamba uchaguzi wa 2022 haukuwa wa haki hmm. haukuwa huru hmm. nor was it credible kwa hiyo sava ifunguliwe hmm staki kutaja majina ikiwa Millicent Omanga mm. atasaidia sava kufunguliwa mm. bora iwe ni ile sava ilitumika katika uchaguzi mm. wa 2022 mm. kilichotokea hapa ni kuwa kwenye hii mechi mm. Raila Molo Odinga na wenzake mm. walijaribu kumpiga kiatu William Ruto mm. William Ruto akaruka mm. akaishia kufunga bao Alivofunga pengine alikuwa kautea. Lakini refa aka puliza kipenga mpira uwekwe katikati. Mm. Ile we play on. Mm -hmm. Raila Amolo Odinga na chopigania sasa mm. ni haki ya uchaguzi utaka ukuja siku zijazo. Mm -hmm. Uchaguzi wa 2022 mm -hmm. ni swala ambalo kwa sasa limekwisha. Yeah. Limefungwa. But for future... Mm -hmm elections mm -hmm. we need to institute measures to guarantee electoral justice mm -hmm. mimi naunga mkono servers ifunguliwe mm -hmm. lakini sio servers zote zile alafu wewe kama mheshimiwa sijui unaweza mwambia nini ama sijui take yako ni gani kuhusu zile picha ambazo zimekuwa ziki circulate kwa media za Millicent hizo picha mimi nitataja kwamba kwa njia moja zimenipa burudani yeah. <laughs> manake nafikiri hilo lilikuwa ni lengo mm -hmm. lakini zaidi ya hapo mm -hmm. ni kwamba kuna maswala ambayo watu wanapaswa kufanya kwenye bedroom mm. na yabaki kwenye bedroom lakini unajua ile picha uh, according to my understanding mimi niliona ni mtu alimpiga Millicent na ni kama Millicent hakukuwa kijua anapigwa na pia a few weeks ago pia bado tuliona picha za msanii um, Butros pia tuliona picha zake. Na, na sasa una feel aje kusoa watu una feel kama watu wanafaa wachukuliwe hatua ambao wanapiga hizo picha ama mwanzo kabisa mimi ningependa kutoa rambi rambi zangu mm. na pole mm. kwa hawa wahusika Butros, Millicent mm. Omanga mm. na wengine wote ambao mm. wamefanyiwa hii ni dhulma. Mm. Na wale ambao wamepiga hizo picha hapa ndo serikali inapaswa kutumia ule mkono wake mrefu kuachukulia hatua na sisitiza hmm. kwamba maswala ya bedroom ya baki kwenye bedroom wakati mtu anapata raha yake huwa sisi atupo hmm. kwa hiyo asituletee aliyofanyika ikiwa anataka kulipiza kisasi ama kutafuta chochote kingine hmm. serikali ishughulikie hawa jamaa hmm. ambao wanawaharibia wenzao hmm. majina yes. hmm. okay. Na mbona una jump to conclusion ni mambo ya bedroom pengine yeye uuza sinema you know aja expose private life yake maybe ni private life yake anauza sinema ilikuwa process ya kushoot 
Kulingana na ambavyo nimeona picha kwa mfano zile za Butros ile ilikuwa ni mtu amepiga mechi vizuri amemaliza yuko kwenye ile break mm -hmm. hey, unaweza kusema half time ama anangoja mechi iendelee akikuwa ni kipindi haikuwa production mm -hmm. someone took advantage of the access they were given and they abused it mm -hmm. that person is a criminal mm -hmm. that person should be arrested charged and for the whole process of justice allowed to take place and they should in fact pay for the damage they have caused yeah because wamemfanyia Millicent vibaya sana kwa sababu kila kila mtu anajua kuhusu hiyo story hata unaona watoto wadogo umeshaona hizo picha ni kweli nafikiri um kwa hakika sisi wote vile tuko hapa tuna uhakika kama ni Millicent ama ni mwingine lakini kwa sababu um kunaweza kuwa ni photoshop kunaweza kuwa ni mambo mengine lakini kwa kusema ukweli makosa ni yake na yule walikuwa naye kwa sababu sisi tumeletewa kwa mitandao yule ambaye alimchukua na yeye mwenyewe anajuana so sio picha nzuri kwa familia na society kwa si kwa ujumla lakini sio kitendo ambacho naweza kusema ni kitendo kizuri lile ni tendo ambalo linakuwa na heshima zake kwa sababu ndio maana linafungiwa bedroom si kwa kila mahali wanadamu sio kuku wala minyama ndio watende vile e, vitu mbele ya watu kwa hivyo kwangu mimi na nashtumu sana kile kitendo nasema sio kizuri by all means we don't encourage such to happen so um, it's so bad and it's so bad that's what i can say okay maybe what, what can you say to marriages? Sao no namuka mi disento manga ko marriage. That means marriage is under attack ama ni adi. Um, kwa kusema ukweli tena ni rudie, it is not decent. It is an act that should not be done by people who are married mm -hmm. to expose the activities in bedroom. So, it is not a good thing for young people to mm. to go through all the check on the media on mm. social media um i don't have a good language to explain the the whole scenario mm -hmm. but it's not a good thing mm -hmm. so whoever did it whoever who is planning to do it please is not a good thing mm -hmm. unless you are you having a video or you are doing a pornography videos that is allowed somewhere else but mm -hmm. not for public mm -hmm. consumption jim ne zambia ni ni serikali kwa sababu imekuwa ni issue ina happen every other week Sijui mna izambia nini kwa sababu mimi naona serikali inafaa kuchukua hatua. Do it can happen to anyone. Hata wewe hata inaweza happen ya mtu yeyote. Kwa swala la Millicent Omanga, Butros na wengine wote ambao picha zao zimetumiwa kuonyesha dhana fulani ningeomba wachukue hatua. Wapo wengi ambao wamepatikana na hatia na wakachukuliwa hatua wapo ambao wamefungwa wengine wakapigwa faini na wengine wakatozwa zile pesa za malipo hmm. serikali najua inaweza ikachukua hatua hmm. ombi langu ni kwamba wafanye kasi na wakati wanachukua hatua waonyeshe umma hmm. kwamba adhabu ni kubwa kiasi hichi manake hmm. tuna sheria hmm. na tuna uwezo wa kuwachukulia our criminals hatua hmm. wale ambao wanafurahia hizi picha kama ambavyo nimewaambia kuwa ilileta burudani hmm. najua it's in us hmm. lakini tusifurahie wakati wenzetu wanaangushwa hmm. na wale ambao wanajaribu kuingilia ndoa ya Millicent Omanga katika lugha fulani ninayojua huwa inasema kwamba ndoa ni moshi hmm. hatujui kilicho kwenye ndoa ya Millicent Omanga kwa kuwa hajatuita tujue ya ndani yake sisi tumpe pole na tuombe kwamba wale ambao walihusika katika udhalimu wanachukuliwa hatua 
Okay, maybe as we wrap it up, uh, it's a question for you, Mdoria. Uh, back a while back, it was alleged kuna time you had some ballot papers banned or something close to that. Is there something you have to say? Maybe why that happened? Why you did that? Or anything you have to say on that matter? On the sixth of June, mm -hmm. twenty twenty-two. Mm -hmm. I presented my nomination papers mm -hmm. to the national returning officer mm -hmm. of the presidential elections, mm -hmm. Wafula Chebukati, yes. as had been scheduled for me to do. Mm -hmm. I had met all the requirements. Mm -hmm. I had all the nomination signatures. Mm -hmm. I had the accompanying ID mm -hmm. copies from at least half of the counties, mm -hmm. 2,000 for each. But my application to run for President of the Republic of Kenya mm -hmm. was declined. Mm -hmm. That's a process that cost me money, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cost me tears, mm -hmm. sweat, and mm -hmm. even blood. So on that day, seeing the amount of injustice that mm -hmm. can be meted on someone of my status, mm -hmm. I chose to light a fire. Mm -hmm. of justice, mm -hmm. electoral justice. Mm -hmm. It may be said that I did ban my ID, but mm -hmm. the truth is I have my national ID card. Mm -hmm. For you to vote in Kenya, mm -hmm. you do not need a voter's card. Mm -hmm. So I merely was expressing that the commission mm -hmm. was indulging in clerical activities to bar mm -hmm. potential candidates from appearing on the ballot and thus denying Kenyans a fair chance mm -hmm. at a free, fair and credible elections. Mm -hmm. So I merely lit a fire mm -hmm. for electoral justice, which I hope continues to burn mm -hmm. in the hearts of all Kenyans. And I'm glad that even as the protests subside, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there is a clamor for mm -hmm. electoral justice as mm -hmm. being as is being spearheaded right now yeah. by the Azimio luminary. Mm -hmm. Raila Molo Odinga. Mm -hmm. So that fire mm -hmm. still burns in each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't apologize for what I did then. Mm -hmm. I merely planted a seed that the processes that give us the leaders mm -hmm. we have mm -hmm. need to be re-examined. Mm -hmm. And if found faulty, mm -hmm. they need to be purified, mm -hmm. even if it will take a fire for us to do so. Mm -hmm. Alafu, do you have an idea of why maybe Ilikuwa declined? As I have stated elsewhere, I will repeat here, the 2022 election was neither free, fair, nor credible. They started by locking out potential candidates. We went to court and the court issued orders for the inclusion of some of those who had been excluded. The results, the end product, is as important as the process itself. Mm -hmm. So if the process from the very beginning was fraudulent, then the result cannot be valid. Mm -hmm. So they merely shut us out because they had a predetermined outcome that they were looking for, mm -hmm. which I suppose they got, mm -hmm. which is why the current regime mm -hmm. is not people-friendly that the first thing they did when they took office, mm -hmm. they removed the programs that were supporting the ordinary common man. Mm -hmm. That when given an opportunity to appoint a cabinet, when the government was elected into office by Mamamboga, Nawatu Aboda Boda, they had no room for Mamamboga or Mtu Aboda Boda. Mm -hmm. And even when they created the unconstitutional office of the cabinet administrative secretary, the chief administrative secretary, mm -hmm. and they ended up creating 50 positions. Hawange pata nafasi yata moja. Hata nusu. Nafili yata robo ya kueka mama mboga ama mtu wa boda boda. So these anti-people regime we have today that is exhibiting dictatorial tendencies mm -hmm. is the end result. Mm -hmm of a process that was discriminative, that shatters out and denied Kenyans a real chance at electing leaders who mean well and who deliver the promise of this nation. Mm. Okay, uh, just the last question, unless you have another one. Uh, hypothetically speaking, maybe uh, Ruto was standing just right in front of you. Just say something to him as we end this. 
I think Kefa would have something to say about that. Yeah, if today I, I had a chance to meet the president mm -hmm. of this republic, mm -hmm. I will tell him one thing. Mm -hmm. Number one, he is the president of Kenya, mm -hmm. duly sworn in yes. to serve this nation. Mm -hmm. He has all what it takes, yeah? mm -hmm. like now the cost of living is so high. That is the basic need that we are asking from him. Number two, all the promises that he gave, we have hardly seen mm -hmm. an action on those promises. So, as we are asking as Kenyans now, President Ruto should take his mantle seriously mm -hmm. and do what is necessary to change the lives of Kenyans as he promised. We have seen him several times going to churches for prayers, he carries a good Bible. I don't know whether that Bible mm -hmm. is written somewhere that uh, reconciliation is part of peace. So if Raila is demanding for talks, what is so difficult for Ruto to call Raila and sit down? Because the two guys, if they talk, the solution must be seen. Instead of us, like, living kama wamama mba wako kwenye matani itisayote tunagopa nini ita happen. So, that is what I can tell him for now. Mm. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we are suffering as Kenyans. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Mimi, ntambia ruto hivi. Mm -hmm. Rais, mm -hmm. chafadali. Mm -hmm. Asante naona umemchukua wetangula, mudavadi, umewawekea chai, mm -hmm. wako busy, mm -hmm. waungeze chai. Gashagwa, mm -hmm. tafadhali, tafuta uzi na sindano, shona uo mdomo. Uu jamaa, anapaswa aache kututapikia ambavyo amekuwa na tutapikia. Pigia ndugu yako simu, ita Raila mkai chini. Tunaitaji amani, tunaitaji maridhiano. Tuache kuendesha Kenya, tukitumia rea viumira. Shida zetu ni za leo na kesho. Tuachane na yajana na juzi. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate. Thank you. Sante.